everybody. I'm doing a follow-up session for a client. If you're interested in checking out the previous session, be sure to check the description for a link. All right, so I have some awesome feedback here and we're just gonna kind of continue where we left off. Um, so I'm gonna read this feedback and then I'm gonna get started. Okay, it says, hello, Abby. Thank you so much for a wonderful reading. As always, it resonated deeply. I've, I've been feeling a relief in the head area and I'm taking what you've said to heart. I align completely with the idea that I need a whole new environment and change in how I've been living life. I'm actually moving to Florida myself the day after Christmas and my whole plan was to take the year to just focus on healing. I'm jokingly looking at it as my rehab. All I want to do is meditate, eat healthy, read, write, do yoga and figure out who I am this year. It's my goal to get entirely sober and just kind of learn my identity and focus on calming down. This really solidified that need for me. I'm nervous, but I also know this is a blessing in disguise and probably is exactly what I need. Thank you for this healing. <sighs> this is a really awesome update. And I've been picking up on, on a lot of just collective energy right now where we're all sort of searching for ourself after everything that's gone um, on in 2020 with coronavirus and and how it's impacted all our lives in different ways it's really kind of shape-shifted our relationship with ourself and and life our life purpose and a lot of people are kind of looking for themselves so i think that this is actually perfect timing for you and i know that you're going to have i mean just from just from our last session and just reading this your inspiration to just um, move into a totally new experience in florida go through this this sort of rehab experience of self-discovery it's it's incredible it's actually perfect for you and i can imagine that 2021 is going to be just an awesome year for for you to find yourself for you to heal from everything that you've been through, for you to just totally refurbish your energy field and develop a new relationship with life and yourself in life. So um, those are just some thoughts that come to mind. I'm just relaxing right now. All right, what can I do? talking to the spirit realm here to really amplify this new direction to share any any messages of wisdom perspective on all of this energy healing to just continue to amplify healing from the previous session what is the most valuable gift that I can share today Okay, the first thing that comes to me is there's this inner self that has a desperate need for, I mean, I felt this way in my own life, so I recognize it. Even as I'm talking, I'm getting kind of like really, really exhausted. It's almost like you are so exhausted, more exhausted than you're aware of, and this inner self has become loud enough that it could almost be controlling in a very healthy way um, because it's almost it's almost like it wants you to just settle down in a new experience and in an experience where you can relax an experience where you can just recover it's almost like you need recovery so you saying rehab is not um too far out there i mean it's it's recovery it's recovery from everything you've been through in life leading up to this point. I mean, this part of you is exhausted. It's almost like you you may not even be aware of how exhausted you actually are. And what what part of you has been running the show here, you know? Has it been ideas of what makes it a good world for yourself and other people? 
um, has given you some sort of superhuman power to just keep going, 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 going. All the while, deep down inside, you're just running yourself into a ground. Don't even realize it until it just hits you. Because it's, it's almost surreal. What Where was this energy propelling you? Where was it coming from? Was it coming from an idea, um, a perception? Was it coming from an idea of the goodness of and what you can create if you if you work this hard, try this hard, and and beneath the surface you're just completely exhausted. Like it's almost like you have not you don't have any more to give. It it has to be given back. It has to be given back to you, circulated back into yourself. I feel that that's what this is all about. It's circulating love back into yourself long overdue it's it's feeding yourself through relaxation through a, a change of pace through a change of um how you are giving of yourself it may feel a bit odd it may feel a bit off but i don't think it's going to be that off or that odd just in feeling how exhausted you are i think it's just it's going to feel mandatory and because it's going to be so such a mandatory feeling, it's like everything else can go without it being all that weird because you really need to just start bringing the energy back into yourself. Right now, I'm, I mean, I tell you what, just interacting with this part of you, I feel almost lifeless, okay? <laughs> I feel so exhausted. I'm pretty much lifeless so talking through this energy is I'm, I'm kind of like an odd teeter-totter of like I can still interact while I just want to <laughs> collapse <laughs> so I'm kind of in between here I'm just going to go into the energy a little bit more I'm going to work on helping it to feel not so drained okay It's almost like so exhausted, so drained, it feels like, ugh, ugh, get it out, get it out of me. I don't, um, it's kind of like an uncomfortable, um, like I don't like it, I don't like it um, type feeling. So I feel what it's like to be you with this going on inside and I just, I don't like the way that it feels. It's kind of like you, I, I've had Fig Newtons and I don't, I, I don't know why, but right now um, I experience a Fig Newton as some kind of dis unexpected disappointment. I never dis necessarily disliked Fig Newtons. I would prefer a chocolate chip cookie. So when I bite into a chocolate chip cookie, there's like, yeah, I like this. You know, if I bite into a Fig Newton, it's sort of like, I'm eating this because I'm hungry. You know, there's a, there's a difference in my, in my experience. So I'm kind of, this is like the Fig Newton vibe over the, the fresh homemade chocolate chip cookie vibe. Um, it's kind of like disappointing. It's kind of like not really what I want. I don't like the way this feels. <laughs> But somehow just being okay with the Fig Newton self over the chocolate chip cookie self, it's like, it's not that bad. It really isn't that bad. I'm helping it to not feel so exhausted and so draining. It's still you, you know? Is it possible that you are releasing a lot of, it's almost like smoke. And it's, um... It's long overdue, pent up, old energy. And it's like sitting inside of a, like a, a teepee um, where it's supposed to be like a tribal community event, but it's so full of smoke, nobody can see or even breathe in here. Um, it's just overdone. This all needs to come out. 
your whole energy field, I mean, I must have, it's like your whole energy field is just releasing, 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 releasing. There's so much is releasing. Okay. I want to work on your lower chakras here. I'm going to go check on your root chakra. It's weird. It's kind of like a candy cane in a way, but it it's doesn't look like one. It's more like a clearish yellow colored um, tight piece of candy, almost like a cylindrical shape. I'm just going to touch this here and relax this all down. Relax. 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 Is this you feeling, is this the nervous part of you? Are, do you do you happen to eat candy or, is that why Fig Newtons and cookies are coming up here and now we got candy canes and sugary goods? Um, is that why this is coming up? Do you get nervous and then you eat junk food? <laughs> I don't know, it's just an idea, but I'm like, relax, 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 relax. And now I'm thinking about, you know, you are going to Florida, like this is a big new life change. Like you are nervous about this. Um, so maybe there's a correlation. Maybe it's because it's the holiday season. Um, there's lots of goodies in here, okay? <laughs> and exhaustion. Okay, so still relaxing your root because you should be able to embrace the change, okay? Don't resist it. Embrace the change. Trust in yourself. Trust in you. Trust in your choices are smart, are clever. Embrace the change, okay? Still not, you're still, why are you resisting this? Um, this is really, uh, I feel this in my third eye here. Oh, man. Okay. Um, you're, you're snapping at me and you're, you're, ba you're saying, um, don't treat me like a child. Don't talk to me like I'm a kid. I'm an adult. I'm an adult here. That's what you're saying. Um. It's kind of like echoing through the walls of yourself, okay? It's not like you're telling me this. It's just like some part of you just, just venting this. It's stressed out. And it's angry. And it wants to be taken seriously. It's like some old residue. And I feel it in your third eye as well. I feel like you... I feel like you are going through a lot here. Just from that last session, I, I I had to have kicked up a lot of stuff because in your energy field, there's residue. There's all this like pent up smoke that's just coming out. There's so much we can't even breathe in here. There, your root is like getting tight, turning into candy. We're talking about sweets. We're nervous. We're so we're stepping into a new year and a new like change of pace. Like all this is going on, my God. I mean, do you see? So be gentle on yourself, okay? Be totally gentle on yourself. You, 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 if you feel off, it's it's everything that's going on here. It's your energy field that has so much. It's processing. It's unbelievable. You have to get into a sanctuary location. You have to. It will be your sanity. It will be recovery, hardcore, like jokingly rehab. I'm sobering up from the difficulties of life because I'm going to go away to a nice location where I'm far away. I'm not touching all that stuff with a 10 foot pole. I'm yoga. I'm doing yoga. I'm meditating. I'm going to eat right. I am going to just change the whole circumstance of everything. That is absolutely the right <laughs> direction. Okay, let me check on your root again. Okay. Okay, it's so... Okay, let me see. 
And when I check on your root, I feel a lot like the nerves are pinched. It feels like pinched nerves all over your body. Again, stress. This is too much stress, too much responsibility, too much... Um, whatever you can do to make this as stress-free as possible, that's part of your move to Florida, okay? It is going to be the most stress-free experience of your life. It's all about recovery, okay? So even the move has to be super easy on you. Because you 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 have so much energy stress, it's like pinched nerves, okay? All right, let me check on your root again. See what the next thing is. A lot of unresolved anger. And it echoes towards the top, like heart, throat, third eye, crown. Like it echoes towards the top. It's not really the crown so much as third eye, throat, heart. But it's echoing throughout here. This, it comes with a lot of the color brown. It's not necessarily saying that brown is like an ugly color. Um, it's just, I don't know if it's boring. It's not satisfying. It's sort of like a dis, it's just a not satisfying color for some reason. This unresolved anger is just like, just a kind of like a boring, not satisfying interaction. It just, I don't, it's, it feels like on that level. It's not fiery hot. It's not branding into your soul. It's not um, like a bull gone mad. It isn't. It's just venting old anger residues. It's like residue energy, but it is angry and it's brown. Okay. <laughs> This is me just calming things down. It's like fluffing out the smoke. It's relaxing things down. It's creating breathability. Um, it's it's encouraging like root to just, it's okay to relax. It's okay to open up, slow down. So I'm doing some of this going on here, okay? Okay, root. How do you feel now? It's almost, it's almost open here. It's almost opened up. It's going to help you feel more collected. It's going to help you feel more peaceful. It's going to help you feel more tuned into the inspirations coming from your mind and your emotions. Um, it's going to kind of pull it all together, okay, into one solid inspiration. And it's not, I, it, whatever we can do to not make it stressful or fluttery, like it's okay to feel solid with the decision. It's going to be a healthy choice. <sighs> okay, how you doing, Root? Okay, it seems to be, I mean, it's still kind of tight, but it is opening up more. I see a kid that's making their own mac and cheese and now they're eating the mac and cheese that they made it and it's really good. It's really, really good mac and cheese <laughs> and it's really cheesy. It's like they added extra cheese to it. It's like ultra cheesy mac and cheese. It's really, really good. It almost, I swear, they must have changed the flavor of mac and cheese because this, this reminds me of mac and cheese I even, I made when I was a kid. I don't know what's happened to cheese these days. I swear it's somehow changed over time. This is the best. It's the best mac and cheese ever. Somehow this conversation about mac and cheese is working with your root chakra. There's some kind of inner child pride in yourself and what you yourself can accomplish when you put your mind to it. Then you can do really awesome things, tasty mac and cheese all the way. It feels a lot better. That feels a lot better. You feel good. You feel you don't feel as drained. You don't feel as exhausted. Um, all this pent up um, smoking, um, that's all clear. Like the, there's more breathability here. I still feel there's some density. I mean, there's a you're going through a lot. Okay, so it's pretty normal. Um, this is all coming out no matter what. <laughs> it's all pushing through no matter what. It's going to be very hard to contain this transformation. Um, sometimes we're going through transformation, but we just ignore it. We contain it. We avoid it. We, but this is so much transformation that it's demanding. 
it's not going to take no for an answer. It will force its way through. It's going to push its way. It's breaking the dam down of who you were and what you were holding on to and how you were moving through life. This is breaking that down. You're going to be a new person now. It's forcing itself through, which is a good thing because you need recovery. You need rest. You need change big time. So pretty excited for you. It does sound like maybe you're going through a lot of feelings, a lot of shifts. And even with a lot of like positive um, messages for you about this, I it, you still have to go through it. So to go through it still takes a lot. But um, I know that this energy work is going to help. And um, there's a lot of thumbs up about this just on the energy side and just from experiencing your energy field and what you're telling me I, I I can tell that this is really a good choice for you okay and just this 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 what is inside yourself um the exhausted you that needs recovery yes you do you're making all the right decisions here um you can own it you can totally own it and don't be afraid actually embrace it because it's the healing that you need And it's going to be like you making mac and cheese all by yourself. And it's the best mac and cheese you've ever had. Because you can count on yourself. And you can do it right for you as well. Okay. Thank you so much for this experience. Thank you for sharing. I wish you all the best in your <laughs> transition and cha big change in life. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Um, you can also check me out at my two other YouTube channels at Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Thank you all and have a wonderful day. <laughs>